Welcome home racing fans. We're taking a look at the latest from Skeletric, their version of the 4 GT GTE. I have to say that on the outside, I think Skeletric's done a, a very good job, very accurate to the prototype. Uh, the markings, the paint, everything is pretty crisp and clean. And from the comments I've already seen online, uh, most of you are very pleased with it. And I guess there's a, well, why not? It's a good looking slot car and it runs pretty good too. We're going to get to that in just a minute. So on the outside, very well done. Nice detail level. I think uh, any of you that are fans of this car should be pleased. Um, underneath, of course, this is in the inline configuration as we expected. And that's fine. We have a little bit of a motor surprise for some people, but we'll get to that in just a minute. Anyway, on the outside, I think Skeletric's done a great job. There's nothing not to like here. It's a nice appealing car, pretty accurate to the prototype, and it just looks good. So we're going to get right to the inside and uh, take a look at what Skeletric's done under the hood. All right, taking a look under the hood, we see inline configuration, of course, 9 to 27 gearing, um, lighted front and rear, which I like on the cars that apply, certainly does here. The motor has been the subject of some conversation. It is the, the quicker slimline motor, not the standard motor in the other GT cars. Um, it is what it is. I imagine they use this motor for, uh, you know, giving it the right profile for the interior, and it matches the classic Mark IV version that Skeletric released earlier. And so you kind of have a matching set there with uh, old versus new. Perhaps that's why they did it. Of course, I'm just guessing. Either way, that's the motor that's in here. I've bench tested it with an average of about 27,000 RPM, which again puts it right there with the, with the other motor. So it is what it is. If you like a little faster motor, then you're, you're going to be happy. As far as tires go, of course, we have Quick Slicks CV59F. I like the firm compound for my silicone for this track. Or there's the Paul Gage Urethanes 2012 5LM. This is a really good tire that fits, uh, fits the wheel very well. The stock rubber has also been talked about. It is a pretty good rubber, and uh, when it's cleaned up, it hooks up pretty good out here. One thing you got to be aware of, uh, if you do any wheel work or sanding work, the tires are a little bit loose on the wheel, so you might have to glue those in place. Anyway, it's a good platform, simple, clean, and it's ready to go. So and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to button it up for the road test. But uh, overall, like I said, I think it's a good platform to work with. And most of you guys out there that enjoy a little bit of tuning, non-magnet racing, eh, you should look forward to this car. All right, well, that's pretty impressive right out of the box. It's not perfect, but pretty impressive. It's a good platform to, uh, to tune upon, to build upon. If you're a wood track racer, more advanced, you uh, should be pleased. Shouldn't be much for you to do. Like I said, the stock tires here, they, uh, they do perform a lot better than the tires of yesterday, as we would say. Um, they're not going to replace a urethane or silicone for top performance, but those that like the stock rubber should be impressed. Overall, I have to give Skeletric a thumbs up. This is a, a pretty good car. It looks good, it runs good, and it's just fun to drive. And for that, well, like I said, they're going to get a thumbs up. So, well done, Skeletric. I think it's going to be a very popular release this year. I look forward to more versions. Hopefully, uh, Ford continues the program and we see more variety in the future. So, again, thumbs up, Skeletric. I look forward to seeing some more.